Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Ansible graphical user interface, which is basically called Ansible AWX. So in previous lessons, I showed you how to use Ansible, how we can run tasks using Ansible CLI. But typically you will see people using Ansible GUI a lot because GUI also provides some additional features and it also has REST APIs. So you can easily integrate it with any of your service management tools. And you can also integrate it with other tools like monitoring tools. So for example, let's say when certain threads thresholds are met you would like to trigger your automation workflow so those kind of situations you are going to use ansible awx rest apis anyways let's go ahead and start using this gui so i'm just going to log in now about the installation i'm going to show you probably in upcoming videos how to install awx you will need to have access to docker and all and you will also probably need to understand little bit of docker concept so i'm going to show that to you but probably that's going to be in upcoming videos for now you just need to know that uh, you're, you will need to have Ansible AWX installed if you want to use graphical user interface. After that, let's go ahead and log in. Here you can see we are logged in as an admin user. And here you can see the interface is pretty easy. So here you can see we are logged into dashboard. And here we are going to see all the host which we are managing. We are going to see failed host, inventories, inventory sync failures, project details and so on. Uh, here you can see on the left hand side we have three sections. Uh, one is view, other one is resources and then we have administration section. Okay, These are the ones which are like most more frequently used. Then of course we do have access where we can go ahead create our users, manage role based access control and all which we discussed in the first lesson where I was telling you about Ansible features. But for now, we are just going to quickly create a single playbook and we are going to run it using Ansible AWX and going to show you just how it executes, how we need to uh, set it up. So first of all, we will go ahead and create inventories. Now here you can do, you can see I have just cleaned up everything. So everything is uh, quite empty here. So we need to start fresh. First of all, we need to go ahead and create inventory. So here you can see I'm just going to add an inventory. Uh, just give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, CentOS servers. And again, probably you want to name it something else. You can name it something else. Doesn't really matter. And then uh, here you can declare any variables if you have in this case I don't have any variables so I'm just going to uh, click on ok now let's go ahead and add our hosts in that inventory so here I'm just going to add a couple of servers uh, so it's going to be 192 1.19 and you need to provide the inventory name so here you can see we are adding sent to a servers and again if you want to uh, specify some variables you can do that but I don't need that for now again I'm going to go to back to host going to add another server which is 192.168.1.20 and again we need to give the inventory which is sent to a service uh, go ahead and save it now here you can see we have this inventory and here also you can see it is showing it has two hosts because what we did is we created two hosts uh, and while creation of the host we selected this inventory so here if you can just uh, go to uh, that inventory name you can go under host and here you can see all the hosts which are added under that inventory if you want to just disable one or multiple uh, hosts you can do that you can manage that from here now let's go ahead and uh, select our project so here uh, what you will see is uh, you have option of uh, selecting your project now the project can be on github project can be on anywhere so in this case i'm just going to select manual and i'm going to give name to this project so let's call it awx demo playbook and here you can see we have selected manual it means we need to specify the directory and the place of the playbook so here you can see uh, by default it has just picked up this path you can specify any other path wherever you have kept your playbook uh, right now what i have done is i have uh, created a playbook here so I'm just going to go ahead and show you that so here you can see I have just created a directory which is one dot example and let's go inside this here you can see it's just a simple playbook I have created which is uh, this one okay it's not doing anything much it's just pinging the servers and just showing Ansible facts that's all it is doing now here one more thing you can see we, here we are specifying hosts all but we are actually controlling all these hosts through and this Ansible AWX we are going to go ahead and select one dot example dot yaml going to save it I think everything looks quite good now we are going to go to credentials and here we will need to add uh, credentials as well so I'm going to add a credential for user which is going to basically be used to run our uh, playbooks and going to basically be used to connect to all the target uh, system so it's Ansible and choose a credential type we need to choose machine again you can see there are various credential types available we have to uh, just use machine in this case and I'm just going to provide username and password and here you can specify a private key 
uh, which can be used to uh, connect to other servers using SSH. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, going to go to Ansible user and then we can go to this directory and here we can uh, copy the private key. So I'm just going to copy private key of this Ansible user and going to paste it here and everything else looks okay i do not have any key passphrase so I, I don't need to provide anything here and now i'm just going to click on save uh, so now just go ahead and create templates basically uh, template is the place where you are going to create kind of a job which is going to run so here i'm just going to name it uh, ping all servers and in description you can specify what this job is doing so uh, pinging all the servers and job type is going to be run if you want to run it in check mode you can select check mode but i'm just going to keep it run and in the inventory we need to specify the target inventory on which we want to run it so i'm just going to select the inventory which we just created which is called send to a servers and the project name is there is only one project so basically uh, that's the reason it has just picked this picked up this project automatically if there are multiple projects you'll be able to uh, choose the one now in the playbook uh, we know we have a playbook which is demo.yml so i'm just selecting that one and in the credential we need to specify the credential which we just created which is ansible and under label if you want to put something variables if you want to use any variable you can select those also you can specify the verb verbosity if you want to uh, you you are troubleshooting something you can choose debug or connection debug now just here you can see if you want to do privilege escalation you can do that so this is like similar to using become uh, in ansible playbook for now we don't need anything as such it's just a simple job so i'm going to click on save now you can see uh, you have an option of launching this playbook so i'm just gonna launch this playbook from here or otherwise you can let's say if you are on some other interface you can go to templates and here you can see uh, you always have this rocket icon where you can click and launch this template so launching means basically executing this playbook so i'm just gonna go ahead and launch it now once we launched it you can see we moved to basically jobs interface now here this job execution is going to take place here you can see uh, execution has happened and our task has executed successfully so we had added two nodes basically and on both the nodes all the task has executed successfully and you can see the logs here so now here you can see you know how easy it is basically to uh, create and manage uh, Ansible playbook here in AWX using uh, user interface. Now in upcoming session, we are going to just go into little more details uh, where I'm going to show you how to uh, create advanced workflows, how to send email notification and all using uh, AWX. And also in the upcoming sessions, we are going to slowly learn about REST APIs. We will probably do some integration with monitoring tools as well, uh, like Grafana, or i'll see what else i can do that's all basically in this lesson see you again guys in the next lesson if you have been liking the videos please go on and uh, write in the comment section that you have been liking the videos and if you have any suggestion to improve the videos in terms of uh, quality or probably in the content uh, do let me know that feedback as well see you again in the next video mm -hmm.